This video demonstrates the basic essentials of implementing a simple MVC structure into a website. You will note two folders have been created within the site structure, View and Model. These could just as easily have been named Views and Models, but I am trying to mimic the names used in the MVC architecture, so I left them singular. In any case, the model folder will store documents, known as models, that will contain all of the database interaction functionality. That is what a model is, a file containing the ability to interact with the database. Usually in the form of functions, or if using object-oriented programming, classes with methods. The view folder is where web pages, called views, are stored, and then sent to a web browser as needed and directed by a controller. Models and views work with the controller. As the name implies, it controls the flow of a website or web application. If you look closely, you will see a home page, a view, named home.php. It currently resides at the root of the Acme folder, which serves as our website for this demonstration. With a view folder in place, the home.php document will be moved to the view folder. Now a controller needs to be constructed. Because we want the controller to be accessed by default, it will be named index.php. As we anticipate working with the controller, we will first build a structure to look for a key term that we will use to indicate future interactions. The term will be action. Since this term can be sent to the controller from either a form or a link, we must look in both the post, C line 7, and get, C line 9, objects for it. But, we want to be mindful that hackers can send bad data to attack our site. Therefore, we will run all incoming values through a filter underscore input PHP function. You can learn more about this function using the URL shown. If neither the post or get contain an action, then a default value is set, C line 11. Finally, since all interactions in this controller are based on the value assigned to the action variable, a switch control structure is used. Learn more about a switch using the provided URL. The case statement on line 16 will be true if the default value set on line 11 occurred. The result is that the home page, which was moved to the view folder, is delivered to the browser. However, if a different value was assigned to action, then nothing is returned and a blank screen is displayed. Again, this simple illustration shows a controller at work to determine what is being requested from the browser and deliver the content based on the logic found in the controller. 